Hi, everyone. Today, I'd like to take the opportunity to talk to you about XI Spotlight, which is how InMoment uses AI to maximize insight. This session is going to be mostly a demonstration of software, but I do have a single slide to begin with, because during the next 10 minutes or so, I want to answer the following three questions about XI Spotlight. First of all, what is it? Second of all, how does it work? And finally, how does it help you in your day-to-day -day work? Well, the first question, what is it, is it's a real-time business intelligence tool. Now, it's fully integrated with the wider InMoment XI solution, and it is specifically focused on managing short-form and long-form unstructured data sources. And what I mean by short form and long form is that traditional TA engines have been very good for a long time about analyzing short form data, which is the verbatim response that you get to a specific question within a CX survey. By its very nature, it is contextual, it is relatively simple, and it's usually a pretty well-formed um, response because people tend to speak in, in full sentences when they respond to surveys. What those traditional TN, TA engines have not been good at is managing more complex or long form data, which is becoming more and more important with our CX interactions. Things like online reviews, uh, social media data, chat logs, transcripts from telephone calls, even specific things like medical documentation and regulatory documentation. This opens up the pool of data that the XI Spotlight tool can work on to give you a lot more of a 360 degree view of the customer experience. Finally, it is designed to be both a self-service and a managed service tool. Um, now, how does it work? Well, it's based upon natural language processing capability. Uh, that means it has things like a knowledge-based rule set traditionally, so a curated industry taxonomy that has been built up over 15 years of processing lots and lots of different industry data. That makes it highly targeted and, and tunable at scale. But that is the static knowledge-based rule set that all TA tools will begin with. In addition to the static rule set like that, the Spotlight tool has supervised machine learning and unsupervised machine learning. And that means that it's got the ability to train itself with research data, with customer data. It's allowed, it allows for automatic categorization, conceptual aggregation, which ultimately allows for the unsupervised machine learning algorithm to identify and uh, bring, to the, bring to the top emerging topics. In addition to those capabilities, it supports 29 native languages. Now, that's far from every single language on earth, but it actually represents 67% of the population of, uh, of uh, the world that uses those 29 native languages. In addition, it has 16 industry packs that are specifically obviously focused on individual industries and the nomenclature and idiosyncratic language that is aligned with each of those industries. And it allows therefore for custom machine learning models to be built off those initial industry packs. Now, how does it help you? Well, some of the applications for XI Spotlight are things like brand monitoring, when you're going out and you're pulling in all this unstructured data from uh, out there on the internet. Additionally, you can use it for product development and optimization. So much of the unstructured feedback we get is feedback about products and feedback about um, the steps that people go through when purchasing or using products. Uh, it can be used for things like churn reduction and uh, increased share of wallet and all the traditional CX capabilities. And finally, because we are able to ingest things like regulatory documentation, then we can be used to enforce and look out for um, people falling foul of regulatory compliance. Now, I said I wanted to answer three questions. In fact, I want to answer four because the final one is, well, what does it actually look like? And in order to answer that question, we need to go into the platform and show you what it might look like. So here we are. This is the landing page for the wider InMoment XI solution. And if I go up to my app picker and I open up the Spotlight tool, it's going to load up the Spotlight tool, and it's going to show me by default 
my list of projects that I have available for this particular user. I'm going to jump straight into my financial services um, project in here, and it's going to show me all of the data sources that I have available. There's only three data sources at the moment in this environment, but it's very easy for me to upload a new data source to this collection if I just want to call this a test environment uh, and I hit upload file it would allow me to very easily point the tool to a CSV file or any format file and map the various columns of the verbatim data to the data source um, within Spotlight. I'm not going to go through that whole process but it's very easy to create new collections or ultimately new data sources within Spotlight. And then it becomes very easy to build a new dashboard or visualization off that data source. So I'm just going to go in and start a new demo in here. I'll have to call it demo dashboard. Uh, I'm going to use the standard settings in here just to give you an idea of how easy it is to create that new dashboard. So we open up the canvas. It's a blank canvas to begin with. But the first thing that I want to do is choose from the data sources that I have available. There's only three in this example, so I'm just going to use the overall SAP one. And then I've got lots of different visualizations that will allow me to try and make sense of the data that we've got over time. So I'm going to do a very simple overview of, well, first of all, I want to look at the volume that I've got in terms of the phrases uh, within the data that I've got in here. And I'm very quickly able to look at phrases by document count over time to see what kind of key phrases and keywords are being used over time. In addition, if I want to take a snapshot of the current phrases, then it's the word cloud visualization that I want to take a look at. So I'll build up that, uh, that word cloud very easily in here. And finally, I'm going to use a slightly more sophisticated visualization for conversation explorer. So this isn't just keyword, key phrase. This is trying to identify the conversation that's being had in this data set and uh, visualize how that data is being um, processed. Now, that's just a very, very quick example of three widgets that can be put on a blank dashboard like this. It's incredibly important to understand that you can filter by data source very easily. I can also apply filters, much more sophisticated filters by analytic, by metadata and by taxonomy. And once I've built up a complicated or sophisticated filter like this, I can apply it to an individual um, widget on a dashboard like this, or I can apply and clone, and then it becomes available as a filter across all of the data uh, for the dashboard like this. Now, as I say, very simple build of a dashboard in here. I have got some examples of a more sophisticated uh, dashboard as well. So if I move into my demos view and I'm going to discharge the change, discard the changes that I made here, I've got some other projects that have got more data set and more data available. And if I jump into hospitality, uh, I can see that for this particular hospitality demonstration, I have got voice to text example data. I've got social media data from Glassdoor. I've got TripAdvisor, hotel review data. I've got news articles, Twitter metadata as well in, in, uh, included. I'm also trying to put this kind of insight into context of the wider industry. So I've got something in here about the unemployment rate within Las Vegas. So I'm really not just using one data source, not even just using one type of data. I'm really getting a 360 de degree view of the hospitality industry in this particular example. And no surprise, the dashboard that has been assigned to this is called the 360 degree uh, demo dashboard in here. So it's not just visualizations on a dashboard like this. What I'm seeing is the ability to put notes in uh, with, with obviously uh, an understanding of what we're trying to achieve here, where the data comes from, what the outcomes are, uh, and what the insight is that we can we can pull from data like this. So I can go from a very simple chart, like my overall total responses in here, down to the prevailing topics that we've got in here. We can see from the note here that the uh, staff related topics are mentioned more often than, than, than any other. That's pretty standard for a hospitality organization, but it's the next few that might be more interesting, specifically location. So if I start to build dashboards out about location, I can see positive, negative, and neutral comments specifically about location. I can see where that data is coming from um, with, a, with a visual of the, uh, the map of Las Vegas in here. And I can see when those comments are being made over time. I can make more use of my word cloud in here, to, but specifically focused on the um, location 
um, theme in here. I can break down each individual hotel within the data that I'm looking at and look at sentiment polarity. Uh, and then I can start to drill into some of the structured data as well as the unstructured data. So I can see the number of reviews that have come from um, that social media data. I can break down the structured star ratings as well as the sentiment and, um, and, and unstructured analysis that we get from the Spotlight tool. Now, there are lots and lots of flexibility. I'm not gonna be able to cover all the visualizations or all the capabilities that we have um, within the Spotlight tool in this time period. But what I really wanna take, what you, you to take away from this demonstration is that it's incredibly flexible and easy to get lots of different data sources into a tool like this. It then becomes very easy to build up much more sophisticated dashboarding and reporting capability to answer those important questions. Thanks very much.